Grana Weeponini Bong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today I'm coming back at you with some stuff and a few things that I found from the four corners of the Tinterweb. I do this every single Tuesday and Saturday on this channel. So if you like the sound of that, why not think about giving me a like, a share, and of course a subscribe because it really does help me out and now the news don't touch that dial kicking off as we often like to do with fun b studios and they've been adding things onto blasters tower from the 86 movie so this is their 3d printed diorama stuff that's going on their cyber base system this is the door that has an opening section in it so that the bots can make their way up to the section at the top so you can do a little bit of uh, opening and closing and obviously with this being 3d printed as well you can make this as large or as small as you would like it to be which is really cool that's one of the best things about 3d printing right you can scale things up and scale things down to your heart's content i think you just need to find a bigger devastator here but all in all this looks incredible well done to this team loving fun beast Studio. Just last week, I reported on them doing some light up eyes for your Haslab Unicron, and yes, 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 their eyes should have been green, not yellow. And fair news to Fumbi Studios, they have also pointed this out. So they have given you now green eyes, and also this killer, killer, what looks like a light piping filter to go over it, so it looks like he's got the energy crackling outside of his eyes. Oh my god, brutal! Probably one of the most sought after figures in the whole of the Transformers Phantom. Quintus, aka Fans Toys Take on Cyclonus, is coming back to Bomber Speed Store on AliExpress. So head your way over there to get your pre orders in for this dude ASAP if you want to pick him up. Calling all Optimus Prime cosplayers Alien Attack have got the accessory for you so this is the sword of justice and look this thing is absolutely huge and of course is the sword wielded by optimus prime in the last night this sword is highly detailed very very nice and it's about 127 centimeters in length and weighs about one kilogram Look at the detail in here, very, very cool, awesome, and has light up Cybertronian writing on the side. So you can be at home and you can wield this bad boy in the comfort of your own home or at your local fan convention or whatever it is that you're going to be able to do with this sword and you can tell them that freedom is the right of all sentient beings look at how this thing lights up absolutely amazing really cool not a big fan of the babers but something in me wants this sword Heading over to the world of fans hobby and they've been showing off a few more images of Ace Hitter aka Shutter. Uh, so this is absolutely beautiful. This looks incredible in its bot mode. I showed off a few more pictures last week of it in its alt mode uh, and we saw that basically it looks like it's not going to have any stickers. Whoop whoop. That's a bonus for me. But in its bot mode it looks in. Incredible. I just really, really hope that the transformation issues that they had with Athena, the tabbing issues that I constantly have with Fans Hobbies products are fixed on this one because I'm super, super, super excited for this. I want to complete my Super God Master Force lineup and this dude looks like he's going to fit in just well. Perfect, perfect rendition of this figure. Uh, the Headmaster Juniors looking great together with Power Baser as well. This will just be an awesome addition. Looks like he's highly articulated, poseable. Please, please, please just don't let this be just for the pictures. I also like the way when you put his head in uh, the chest piece will come out as well and you'll get those little those little um faders like they had within the original headmasters well done fans hobby oh please let this be good please x transbots have been showing off a video of fuzz on their facebook channel so we can now see the box art that looks pretty cool but also we had a 
few more images of the actual bot itself in its car mode and also in its bot mode. We can see that the lights will go up and down. I don't know why they put it at this funny angle so it was like aiming for the sky on this. I'm not exactly sure why but the doors also open but there's no figures that could go inside. Doesn't look like there's any seats. It'll just show the the transformation. So eh, yeah, kind of nice. And the lights, as we already know, do flash on this bad boy as well. Then we move over to the bot mode that has a little bit of a backpack, I guess. But he looks a little bit see-through, and I'm not sure why they had his pelvis in this thrusty thrusty motion so uh fuzz the elvis the pelvis mode here not sure why they had to have him in the uh in this form for the whole time it looks okay i have to say that in the actual flesh uh, or in the plastic here i'm a little less enamored with it as i was i was thinking oh maybe i'm missing out here but i have to say the alt mode i prefer to the bot mode let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. So we've not heard from Hasbro in a while and that's probably because they've been out buying themselves a new turntable. I think because this week so far we have got 360 degree versions of every single thing that they're looking to release. The 360 on the arc on the turntable has made me love this character even more. I am so hyped. This is probably the figure uh, from Hasbro that I'm the most hyped about getting. The 360 on this bad boy just makes him look better and better whatever mode he's in i'm here for both i don't know which one to display it in now i was thinking about the alt mode because i love it so much but now the bot mode also looks great it's such a difficult one such a difficult one loving it though the uh the landing gear here looks incredible as well i like the fact it's big chunky landing gear in the bot mode as well the full 360 the back it doesn't even look that bad it looks like they've done some engineering on the back anyone who watches this channel know that i really like it when it's still engineered and has detailing on the back of a figure as well and i think they've done that quite nicely here loving the big thrusters look at them big thrusters give me the big thrusters awesome awesome everything i could have ever wanted from this titan figure is here and then also mainframe here looks to me now and let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments it looks like he's going to be a triple changer because it looks like he also transforms into teletram but transforms into what looks like the bridge as well here now, thanks to Amazon, we do know that when he's in his Titan mode, this is going to become the chest piece for the Titan as well. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to get that awful looking Prime as well for no reason at all. But something I completely missed on the reveal was we're going to get Sky Spy. And Sky Spy is going to sit on top of Teletron 1. And we're also going to get the uh, the golden discs here, which are also pretty cool. Look at him in his bridge mode here. He looks alright, he does look pretty cool, I'd be interested to see how this fits in with everything else, so if you have to remove the bridge to do something, who knows, all in all, hyped for this Titan here. Also we got this dude, um, which is Wingfinger aka a Power Ranger monster put into Transformers, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not liking it still. The 360 version of this has not filled me with any more confidence here. Both modes look like trash to me, um, especially this dinosaur mode. The dinosaur mode, I don't know what it is, it just looks, oh, it does not look good. It almost looks like the um, uh, Beetlejuice when they stretch their faces out in Beetlejuice. So yeah, this is, this is not, not, not for me. Really happy if you guys are liking this and what they're doing with the fossilizers, but but right now, for me, it's just not there. I'm not <laughs> feeling this this bone ninja. I'm, I'm usually down with a good ninja, but this couldn't... Even the ninja mode can't save this figure for me right now. And then, also, we got some pictures of it. Again, this is all coming from Amazon.com uh, because they put some, some new pictures up here for us to, to have a look at. Uh, and then on Amazon.com, we can see that the ninja mode is what the ninja mode looked like before uh, we can also see that the, uh, the the pterodactyl dead swoop as i think simon the uk transformers collector called him as well uh is yeah it's not not that great he breaks into loads and loads of tiny little bits here and then he can also connect with other things as well 
We also got a great 360 here of Beast Wars Scorponok and <laughs> something, there's something about this figure. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is because I'm not really into my Beast Formers, but the more I see this figure, the more I'm thinking I might get, I might, I might do it. I might, I might pick this dude up. Similar to the way that I just picked up Optimus Primal on the random, I quite like both modes here. I don't know why. I really don't because I don't collect the beasts. But something about this figure, uh, it, it, it's purple. It's it's the purpleness. It, the purpleness is drawing me in. I might pick this dude up. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you more and more excited about this the more you see of it? I certainly am for some reason. Can't put my finger on it. One figure I do believe looks quite good, but I definitely won't be picking up is Rhinox. Rhinox, the full 360 here, looks great. From the front, I think he looks awesome. Uh, from the back, I think he has got a very large backpack. The alt mode here, it's it, it's probably one of the better alt modes, actually. I don't know what it would be like for articulation. Looks like there's going to be zero to non-articulation on that, apart from the mouth, which we know is also painted, which is a nice touch there, Hasbro, well done. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know what it is, I don't know, no, probably not, and those hollow legs just kill it for me. I just can't do beasts that look like beasts too much. But I like the Scorponok. <sighs> Tell me, I don't know. Moving over to tracks then, and initially, I did love this figure when I saw it. I thought, yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. Well done, Hasbro. But the more I see of it again, the less enamored I am getting with this one. Certainly the bot mode. I think the uh, the bot mode here. When we get round to the back of it and the legs, I don't know what it is. It looks very hollow, very see through. Definitely those feet just look like they're hanging on for grim life there, and. The car, I do believe, just looks stunted, uh, not long enough, and also, where's the yellow? There's no yellow in that flame. Where's the yellow in the flame? And he, yeah, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is about this figure. I'm probably not going to pick this figure up now. And then when we look at some of these shots that come from Amazon.com, we can really start to see kind of what's putting me off. I don't like this added black cannon thing that he comes with as well it looks like they're just piling weapons and junk on top of him more and more and more i don't know what it is i don't like it the look of it on top of the car either and i really don't like the look of it when it's resting on top of his head like this it just yeah i i, I honestly i think right now i don't think this is much better than my mech fans toys version that i have and i think the mech fans toys version isn't as see-through as this and then when you put him together with wing finger it's just game over game over game over man in the complete opposite to tracks the more i see of this figure the more i love it galvatron 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 give me this like yesterday awesome the full 360 here of both the cannon and the bot mode definitely put to ease any kind of challenges that i might have had about this figure i think he looks gorgeous i've spoke so much about this figure i'm not going to spend too much time but the new pictures that we got showed that the cannons or the the revenge type cannon sits on the back and we also got a few nice pictures of the product shot looking awesome both modes on display in that awesome kingdom artwork yes we also got some spinny round a round a round of Soundwave. So Soundwave looking pretty damn good here in this little core class. I like what they're doing with some of them. I don't like what they're doing with some of the other things. I do think that the alt mode here is a little bit scuffed. I don't know why the, the grey bits have gone onto the top. That's just a bit bizarre. Um, but ultimately, I think I will be picking this little figure up because I've got the Megatron. And I think that Soundwave will go very nicely with him. It looks pretty good. Then moving over to a figure that I have been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on. Uh, which is the new Rodimus Prime. I can't really justify myself getting this figure now. Um, I did think about buying it and then I reminded myself that I was only going to buy things and review things that I really wanted for my collection. And I just don't want this for my collection and I'll tell you why I think that the bot mode is very very nice don't get me wrong I think it's great but at the price point of 82 quid over here so I guess that's going to be around 95 to almost a hundred dollars in the US I can pick up the DX9 version of it I have the the shattered glass version already and it's the perfect Rodimus Prime I don't need this I really don't. 
So that's what's put me off the price point for this. If it had been at leader class, I probably would have. But at commander class price point, I just can't justify it. That's it from me for today. Uh, as always, if you're new around here, think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe. This channel has just passed the 2.36 thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support. We do this channel together. Love talking to all of you down in the comments. So if you do have any comments to share about anything that I've spoke about here today, then please let me know and we'll have a good chat about that. I'm super, super, super excited now for the future and also to get my hands on that Titan arc. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, in a bit. Peace.